I know what I'm missing. I don't have any cheese in the mix. Really good if you put cheddar cheese. Hey friends, family, and homesteaders. I hope this finds everyone doing well. Welcome back to Ruby Homestead. I am Nikki. Troy is down here on the floor. He is walking and going everywhere. So, please excuse the kitchen. It's a mess. I have been putting up chickens that are processed the other day. Um, and I have been making broth. So I'm finishing up making our bone broth. If you haven't seen any of our videos, I did a whole series on how I do all that. Um, I'll try to leave a link to it in the description over here somewhere. Hi, you want to say hi? <gasps> say hi! You say hi? You say hi? So I'll be one year old in a couple weeks. Okay. Okay, so I've been busy working up chickens, dealing with the tiny one, and um, I have been promising some squash recipes. I actually had a girl and her husband buy a couple rabbits off of us, and I gave them some squash, and was telling them about a new recipe that I found out. If you've ever had, like, tater cakes, make them with squash, but put sausage and onion in them. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today, and that'll be part of our dinner. Okay, so most often I will use our homemade sausage, but considering most people don't have that, um, I'll be using this. This is my favorite store-bought sausage. It's the best. I really need to get some better lighting here. Now usually I do more sausage but I only have so many. So I'm going to put these in here, let them cook. I'm going to chop them up into ground pieces as they cook. And while that's working I'm going to chop up our squash and our onion. This is our last squash of the year. This one feels really soft so I'm not going to use it. It doesn't really matter how you chop them up. You can do it in little rounds. You can do it in these little half moons. It doesn't really matter. These to the side. I'm going to keep the camera down. I'm going to keep the camera down because I'm likely to tear up. I don't want you to see me cry. Now this is actually one of our onions. Um, normally we wouldn't pick it this size, but the sheep ate the top off our onions, so we had to harvest them pretty quick. Okay, so. And a small onion. But I'm going to use the whole thing. Frankie does not like onion. He is not an onion fan. He likes the taste of it, but not the texture. So, I always, if I'm using onion, 
I will chop them up really fine. Really, really small pieces. By the time they cook, they don't bother him. Ooh, shoot! Chopping onion is not my favorite thing to do. Ooh, this is terrible! I have a chopper, and I really should use it. I don't know why I torture myself like this. Poor baby! We can't both be crying! Okay, that's enough of that. set aside and reuse rather than pouring it out every time I need this pan back. Okay, so I put the lid on it and I will come back, stir it, and when it gets done I'll let you know and show you what that looks like. using cornmeal. I don't really have measurements. I just kind of mix it till I like it. Flour. This is all purpose. Probably about half and half. Maybe a little more cornmeal than flour. Need a bit of mayonnaise. I'm gonna fry these so in that way it's unlike a tater cake where you just put it on the pan. These are gonna be fried. I'm just gonna wait on my grease to boil. Well, grease to heat. Do these 
on just a skillet. Like a tater cake. Like a pancake type deal. These are sort of like a hush puppy. And I think I may do them both ways. And then we'll figure out which way is the best. I know what I'm missing. I don't have any cheese in the mix. Really good if you put cheddar cheese. I know what I'm missing. I don't have any cheese in the mix. Really good if you put cheddar cheese. But I don't have any thawed. So here we are. Isn't there always though? <laughs> and I'm thinking it was on the pan. You like it? You say yes? You say yes? What do you think? No, you can't have my camera. What do you think? <gasps> Is it good? It's wrong. Is it good? Oh, that's my finger. He's after my camera. Well, he didn't spit it out. He doesn't spit much out, though. Okay, so we have the fried ones right here, and then we have the ones just on the flat pan. Okay, so that's more like a tater cake. These are kind of like a hush puppy. We're going to give it a whirl and see which one's better. Okay, pork chops, the grilled squash cake, fried squash cake and green beans. Okay, so it's the following day and I'm sorry but we did not follow up with the taste test. Um, I do believe that we liked the fried one better. Um, although it's not as good for you as the grilled one. But that's the verdict on that. Oh, make sure you add cheese and add way more squash than I did. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.